It might have been sort of intimidating if it weren't for the fact that he raised his fist and got into a fighting stance that looked like it came directly out of a Popeye cartoon. Get that action, get that. You know I do that. You know. Let's get that action. The guy landed a solid punch in the left side of his face <laughs> and he dropped to the ground faster than you could say dumbass. The rest of the guys started laughing hysterically. Honestly, if it wasn't such a terrifying situation, I probably would have laughed my ass off too. To make things worse, I could feel myself getting sick again. The pain started coursing through me, but there was something different about it this time. I felt myself becoming enraged, and it was growing. Everything turned red. I looked the guys straight in the eye, and they stopped dead in their tracks. I then let out something that was a mixture between a scream and a howl. Fuck you! Without even thinking, I karate kicked the guy in the chest. I sent the guy flying in the air, screeching like a banshee. He hit the ground 20 feet away with a solid thumb. Aside from his muffled crying and Clint's moaning, everyone was quiet. quiet. It took a few seconds for me to calm down. Once I realized what I had done, I instantly felt guilty. I quickly walked over them, rambling, Oh my god, I'm so sorry, I didn't know. There was no way I was going to be able to explain uh, anymore, because they all just started screaming and running in the other direction like a stampede of elephants. Their injured friend hobbled behind them, still crying like a baby. And that was how I learned I had super strength. I turned back to Alex. She looked shocked, but kind of impressed too. Clint was looking up at me, or more in my general direction. He had a bloody nose, and his face was starting to swell, but he looked like he would live. His dumb, struck expression made, me, made him look like he just met the Avengers. Whoa. Clint mumbled, swaying back and forth. You guys kicked hella ass. Alex managed to drag him up from his ass and sit him down on a bench. She was preoccupied with him while I was panicking over the fact that two of my friends saw me go apeshit crazy on a guy. Speaking of that, speaking of that the rest of the school is going to find out by tomorrow morning that, there was, that I'm a freak of nature, so my life kind of sucked. I was pulled out of my train of thought um, when Clint asked, So, uh, were you ever going to tell us you're Ms. Marvel? Yep, this was going to be awkward as I imagined. I wasn't really going to tell you guys, I didn't even know I could do that, which is another thing I have to be careful about. Another Alex said disbelief. How many powers do you have? Only two, I hope. The strength is new, but the other one is just the ability to freeze time. Just the ability to freeze, Clint Scott, making air quotes around just, which pales in comparison to the other powers Alex and I possess. Claire, you're a freaking superhero. No, I'm not a superhero. Little bitch had to go and compliment me. What a fucking dick.